Hey there guys, Christian Buddy coming through. In today's video, I go through the seven universal principles. Principle number one, the principle of mentalism. Essentially what this principle dictates is that all events that happen throughout your reality is preceded by a thought in the mind. The mind is all powerful. A beautiful quote by Osho is, a beautiful servant, a dangerous master. I think this prevails to be true as the mind is when out of loose, it can be a dangerous master, but at the same time, it can also be a beautiful servant. So principle number one, all is mind. Principle number two, the principle of correspondence, or also known as, as above, so below. Let's relate this to the macrocosm and the microcosm. The macrocosm obviously being infinite in size and incredibly large, and the microcosm being small, large in its own right if you keep magnifying in. This principle states that the macrocosm is closely related or even identical to the microcosm. And if we look at examples such as the death of a star and the birth of a new cell, the nebula and the human eye, brain cells and the human universe, we can conclude that, yeah, of course, the macrocosm and the microcosm have so much relatability. And this can also fall true to the individual. If an individual is willing to self-develop themselves, we can say that there are three planes of existence, the spiritual, the mental, and the physical, all interrelating within oneself. If we improve the physical, we're going to have a positive effect on the mental or the spiritual. So coming back to this point that principle number two, as above so below, or the principle of correspondence is that the microcosm is definitely related to the macrocosm. Principle number three, the principle of vibration. So if we observe this universe at a molecular level, we can prove that particles at all times are, are vibrating at a, at a certain frequency. If we take one step back and we observe consciousness at itself, we can conclude that, and I'm going to take a plug from the book Power vs. Force by David R. Hawkins. David concludes that consciousness is a quantifiable measure, so you can put a number towards consciousness. So, how does that relate to the principle of vibration? Essentially, we're operating at a certain number. Principle number three, the principle that we are always vibrating at a certain frequency or everything in this universe is vibrating at a certain frequency. Principle number four, the principle of polarity. This principle states that everything has an opposite end, uh, another pole or another side. Everything is and isn't at the same time. Opposites are the same in nature, but different in degree. I'm going to provide one example, and that is from the colors black and white. So obviously, black and white both being colors. And you would assume that they are both different. We, if we look at it from another perspective, that black is purely just another shade of white, or white is purely just another shade of black, we can conclude that these two colors are the exact same thing, just in, different, in differing degrees. So that's principle number four, the principle of polarity. Here we go, principle number five, principle of rhythm. This universe is in a constant state of ebb and flow. Much like the individual, we can, we can relate this to the circadian rhythm circadian rhythm which is governing our sleep, our hormone production and other such various things. 
What does this all mean? It means that we're not going to be feeling our best every single day. Some days we're going to wake up feeling extraordinary and the other days we're not going to be feeling as well. This is all part of the universal rhythm or the internal rhythm. So we must learn to accept this and move on. Creation experiencing itself through rhythmic cycles of repeated events of variation. That sounded pretty cool. And it's such an awesome quote to internalize and a deep and profound quote. That's been principle number five, the principle of rhythm. Almost there. Let's get it. Let's do it. Principle number six, the principle of cause and effect. Cause and effect is a very profound and powerful principle. You, your positive and your negative or any form of emotion has a greater impact than what you believe it to be on the external world. One example to relate and understand this concept is dominoes. If we knock over the first domino, the last domino, provided they're all in a straight line, is going to fall. This is much like the principle cause and effect. So that's principle number six. Cause and effect, almost there. Let's go, baby. Principle number seven, the principle of gender. This principle states that within everything, there is both the masculine and the feminine. We can relate this to the human brain. For example, the left hemisphere is more associated to analytical and logic, linear thinking, whereas the right hemisphere is associated with such things as intuition, emotion, overall well-being, more associated to the feminine side. We need both the masculine and the feminine to have complete harmony within ourselves. If I was to illustrate this point, it would be that the masculine is more of a straight, pointy line, whereas the feminine would be more of a curve line. These two lines fit snugly into each other and it may not prove anything scientifically but we obviously can see that these two lines, these two energies, these two genders both need to be present within the, the individual to produce harmony. That's been the seven universal principles. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's been a pleasure making it for you. And remember to become your best self. Peace and love. Watch out for the next video. Let's do this. Let's go. Woo!